welcome, welcome back. Right, there are a few things going on right now. My hair, which I'm getting used to, I'm going back to my curls. Yeah. And then the second one, because um, I said that I would post twice a week, didn't I? Well, it says on the banner. But I did not post anything last week, so here I am giving you some bonus videos. And today is one of them. As you can read from the title, this is something I got asked a lot. Either when I was about to move to Australia, while I was in Australia, and once I came back to London from Australia. So I would say throughout the 12 months I was there, I got asked this thing a lot. A lot. Is Australia really dangerous for yourself? I mean, let me go back. Let me go back to where I wasn't going there yet, right? What do we know about Australia? And I'm assuming that if you ask this question is because you've never been to Australia, you never lived there, you never even seen it before. So you might have this kind of, wait, this curls are distracting me. You might have this kind of questions that are going through your mind and you might be honestly and genuinely scared. It's true that in Australia, let's say, there are a lot of animals that might kill you. And this is the truth. Uh, so that we have like sharks, there are crocodiles, there are uh, brown snakes and those massive spiders, everything that you might think about Australia and animals, it's quite scary, like, yeah, it, it might scare you a little bit, of, yeah. Don't check the pictures before going there, don't do that. I've learned it from my, yeah, personal mistake, especially the huntsman, don't Google it. Don't Google it. So it is true that in Australia there are this like animals that are known to be very dangerous. And one of the things that I've noticed, not like not all of them are so common unless you live in more rural like areas, more in the countryside and less in the city. What I can say is that living in Sydney in the city. I did experience like cockroaches and that, that's pretty much it. I did not see any other animal apart from like possums or like random birds of ridiculous sizes roaming around the city. But apart from that, I did not see anything. I do want to tell you something about, as I mentioned, cockroaches. If you come from Europe, you're probably used to cockroaches of this size. Well, one thing that is true and is not um, talked enough about Australia is that the cockroaches there, they not only can fly, but they are probably about this size. So it is true in a way, and this is what also is fascinating about this country, that usual, like ordinary things are bigger than what you would think of. So if a cockroach here is tiny, there is massive. If a spider here is tiny, there is massive and so on and so on. <laughs> but it's kind of like cool in a way. I find it very fascinating. It feels like living in a very remote country where things are still like they used to be in the past, if that makes sense. About the other like animals that scare people away, and um, yeah, I do understand why. So like brown snake, spiders, and crocodiles. Shark, I mean, as long as you don't go to the water, you can't really encounter them, right? But crocodiles, there is this story about when I was living with my parents in um, more in the countryside. It wasn't really in the city. It was like 40, 50 minutes away from the, uh, the center of Sydney. And that's where we saw a lot of animals. A lot. And one of them was a three years old 
crocodile found in the lagoon, probably like a five minutes away from our house. And we had no idea that that little creature was chilling there. God knows since when. But yeah, so it's really, really common. I'm not going to lie to you. It is common, but not in the city. And brown snakes, another funny thing is that there was this like colleague of mine from work um, that she was telling me the story about how she found like baby brown snakes dead unfortunately in her swimming pool and so I was obviously asking her what she did about it she was like oh no nothing you know maybe there is a mum there is a, a nest somewhere in one of the houses but it's cool and so I was like okay if you say it's cool then I guess it's cool but if you come from there like um, if you think about uh, how they live their life if you think also that all these animals they belong to your daily life let's say in a way so it's something that you grew up with you're used to it so seeing like a handsman does not scare you um, I'm pretty sure that you're also used to snakes and something that is not new so I guess you know about it and you're not surprised or scared you know about it but a normal person like me that comes from a, a very ordinary continent which is Europe and Italy and living in the UK that is not so usual so I had to learn how to deal with these animals but another thing is the husband been talking about it for such a long time since the beginning of this video. What is a huntsman? A huntsman is a massive spider and again don't google it for your own sake. If you're a little bit disgusted by spiders in general don't do that. Um, even though if you're planning on going to Australia I'll be totally honest with you in this one. Um, get ready for um, today I've seen loads of them because they are really everywhere so and they are quite big they're not venomous so the only thing that they can do to you is bite you only if they fall on you if they get scared they're very very fast as fast as a cockroach i'm not even lying about it and um that is quite creepy because if you're scared of spiders the last thing you want to a spider to do or to be is hell fast but I lived there for a year and coming from me, a person that I love animals, but I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not the spider's best friend and I don't love cockroaches, um, any of them. <laughs> so actually being like this and then going to this country where it's, uh, it's so wild, so interestingly wild and I freaking love it. I had to learn how to deal with it and actually so many times uh, Australia is an amazing country it's wild yes but this is the beauty of it um, it's something that fascinated me a lot being like a nature lover and animal lover that was my heaven but do go there enjoy it just be careful bear in mind but do know that it's not a um, dangerous country to go to that's such a like a, a myth that people think of it and i hope you enjoy your life and i'll see you next this week with another video bye bye, bye. <laughs> and let's close this